Okay, hello, my name is Chan. I'm from Cisco Networking Academy. And this is our website for more information. This is our website. Today we're going to talk about uh, OSPF uh, multi area. Okay. Right. So uh, the first thing is that uh, when you configure a router, the first configuration will be a single area configuration. Which means that if you come if there is a all the routers here in the same area, you must configure the you must configure it into the same area. Okay? Example is router one. In the router one you put a router OSPF one. Here is a config. Then after that, you put the network. Uh, let's say here is 200. Not one, not one, not one. 200. Not one, not one. So we're going to put network 0, 0, 0, 255 area 0. Okay. So in this case, the zero here represents the backbone. Backbone area. Okay. So all the area here is in the backbone. If you decided that this is not a backbone, you can put uh, area one. Area one. That means it's a non-backbone area. Okay. Area one is non-backbone. Okay. So all of this must be in the same area. Okay. For the initial configuration. Okay. Then we go through multi-area. In OSPF, uh, you can split the area. Uh, OSPF is a two-level hierarchy. Okay, which means that you can have a backbone area, backbone, which is area zero, and you can have non-backbone, which is uh, area not equal to zero. Anything that is not equal to zero is non backbone And this one, uh, the area is a 32-bit ID. Okay? It's a 32-bit ID. Okay. So why you have this? This is to prevent, uh, one of the mechanism to prevent loop prevention is that all inter area traffic must transit area zero okay then all non backbone must be directly connected to area zero backbone okay these are the few rules like this. So, uh, example like this. Suppose you have a network. Okay, let's drop this off. You have router one, router two, router three, router four. So you have here. This is area zero, and this is area one, and this is area two. Okay, you can see area one and area two is directly connected to area zero. Okay, you cannot have area one, area two, and area zero here. Okay, 
area 1 is not directly connected to area 0. Okay? So this topology is not allowed okay, unless you use virtual link. Okay? We are going to talk about it later on. Okay? So in multi-area, all the backbone area, non-backbone area must be directly connected to the backbone area. Okay? This is the rule. Uh, let me give you another topology. Okay, let's say you have here a topology like this. shortest path is for them to go through is from here to here because this is 100 meg 100 meg okay but this violate the OSPF rules the OSPF rule will require that anything that is inter area this is area 2 sorry anything that is inter area you must go through you must go through the backbone area which is this one so the traffic will go through like this Okay, so by transiting area zero, all right, loop is prevented. Okay, looping is prevented. Let's say you have area one, you must go to area zero before you go back to area two. All right, you must go to area zero. So in this case, the looping is prevented. You can uh, prevent the behavior that area 1 go to area 2, then go to area 0, then go back to area 1. This is prevented. Okay? This is prevented. This is prevented by forcing anything, all the non-area to go to area 0. Okay? This is for loop prevention. Okay. Suppose uh, you have two scenarios. Okay. Uh, so in this case, because of this, then you might you might result in suboptimal routing in some situation. Suboptimal routing, uh, which is uh, topology dependent. Topology dependent. Simple example is like this. The next thing we're going to talk about is a virtual link.
router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. So this area 0, this area 1, and this area 2. All right? In this case, the area 2 is area 2 is not directly connected to area 0. So in this case, what you can do is that you can do a virtual link from here to here. A virtual link. Right? In this area 1 from here to here. So that this virtual link will enable the virtual link will enable area 2 to be directly connected to area 0. Okay? So this is uh, this is virtual link. Okay? Uh, bear in mind you might have uh, multiple routers here as well inside this area. Okay. Another example would be when you have two area 0. So this area 0 this is company A and this company B. Company A buys over company B. They merge. Right? So you have two area 0. Right? So this is area 1. Okay? So in this case, you have two area 0. So two area 0. You cannot have two backbone. So what you do? You do a virtual link from here to here so that the backbone is directly connected. Okay? Uh, so that's all about uh, OSPF multiple area. Uh, due to switching of slides and all that, we will do another video on the configuration aspect of this one. This is more to theoretical aspect. Okay? Thank you. Uh, if you've got any question, you can email us. Cisco MMU at gmail.com. Okay, thank you.